My newest knife design is called the Montum. It's a blend of all my previous knife designs plus an innovative new hybrid grind and I think all of that together makes this knife really something special. A lot of knives come through my workshops and Quite often they're either really uncomfortable and sometimes even unusable. And it usually has to do with a handle, a handle shape that's just not designed for bushcraft. Now I took this directly off of the Celilo. It's my favorite knife handle that I've ever designed. It's the most comfortable handle that I've ever used. And I'll tell you a little bit about how I designed this handle. Uh, what I do really for all my handles is I use a knife blank and I leave a popsicle stick size tang that I cover with clay and then I work the knife in my hand being sure to move it around in all the grips that we're going to use in bushcraft. Now most knives I'd say 99% of all the knives I've seen are designed to feel good in that basic hammer grip but of course in bushcraft we use a side grip we kind of use a three-quarter grip like this and that lets us use chest lever grip like that for power or if we're doing fine carving the handle moves around in our hand and if it only feels good like this you're missing out on a lot of bushcraft techniques moving on to the blade shape this is a blend of my bcnw01 and the shrike you can see it's a beautiful balance between the blade and the handle. The Celilo had a little bit shorter blade and a little pointier blade. This one, I think, balances the handle out a little bit nicer and uh, has a little bit more of a robust tip. I also have that radius across the top like the Shrike. When I put my thumb on top of a blade like this, I like the th my thumb to be directly in line with the point. And I like the knife blade to arc just a little bit inwards, so when I do do those powerful cuts, I feel like it drives the edge into the cut instead of falling away. Another design feature of this blade is that, as you can see, it ends where the handle does, and I think that's really important. Sometimes I see blades that extend down past the handle, something like this. This is an extreme example because it's a chef's knife. but. The reason this doesn't work as a bush knife is because when you're doing planing cuts and you have the, the blade extend down from the handle, when you're pushing in this direction, the blade wants to torque and rotate in your hand. And that just makes uh, less control, it means you have to grip the handle tighter and um, just something to be aware of. These are designed for chopping on a cutting board like this. Definitely the most unique thing between the Montum and my other knife designs is the grind. I've been experimenting with this hybrid grind for a couple years now. Some of my customers call it a Flandy because it's basically a cross between a flat grind and a Scandi. So let's look and talk a little bit about grinds so you understand the difference in how this works. This is the cross section of a Scandi. Now it's basically like looking at a knife like that. And what you find is that none of the steel is removed off of the blade uh, flats and you have one primary grind that goes down to zero. And what you get with a Scandi grind and why we like them so much for bushcraft is you can take this down to a really fine edge but you have a lot of steel back there supporting that fine edge. And that keeps it from rolling and chipping as easy and uh, it cuts really well. Except when you're cutting 90 degrees into something. You can see this is basically a giant wedge and there's a lot of steel there that creates drag. A flat grind works a lot better when you're cutting straight into something. So let's look at a flat grind. Flat grinds look like this. You can see a, a lot of the steel has been removed from the blade flats. That's where we get that that nice uh, streamlined shape for, for little resistance. and we have a secondary bevel here. This is the part that you would sharpen. So you can see the, the edge angle changes right there. And when you sharpen a flat grind, you're only dealing with that last oh, millimeter or two. So they're quite easy to sharpen. They're easier to sharpen than a Scandi grind for sure because there's less steel. The downside of a true flat grind is that 
this secondary bevel is so small that, well, I just want to have a little bit more steel back there for bushcraft. And so what we did with this hybrid grind was leave a little bit more steel on the blade flat. So we're still taking some off like a flat grind, but not as much as a, as a true flat, flat grind would do. And you can see we get a nice, well, you can think of it as a, as a short scandy or as a tall secondary bevel. But plenty of steel back there uh, behind that edge, so it's, it's very robust, very, very strong. But you also have the benefits of a flat grind in that when you are cutting for food prep, uh, field dressing game, anytime you're going 90 degrees into something, uh, you will notice a tremendous difference between the two. I think I'll end it there. I don't want this video to get too long. If you want more of the specs on the knife in terms of the steel and materials and length and all that, it's on our website, bushcraftnorthwest.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.